begin by acknowledging that we are, of course, are on the traditional territory of the Mississauga Nations, and I'd like to pay respect to elders past, present, and emerging. As the mayor of the municipality of Port Hope, it is my honor to be here with you today and to welcome you to the grand opening of the Rotary Centennial Riverview Park. With over a hundred years of volunteering, fundraising, and community gathering, the Rotary Club of Port Hope's service is absolutely exemplary. Whether it's through the work of large-scale projects with the Rotary Foundation providing funds to the world community, or small-scale support to our local schools, or with our local partners such as Habitat for Humanity, the Big Brothers and Big Sisters, the uh, Greenwood Coalition. Their impact is felt by so many. The partnership between the Rotary Club and the Municipality of Port Hope is cherished. It promotes health, peace, and shared experiences in this community for over a century. We are a better community because of this partnership. And we're honored, we're very honored that the Rotary Club chose to enhance the green space around Corbett's Dam into our park and trails as part of the centennial celebration. This location attracts many residents and visitors and tourists in the spring and in the fall to watch the trout and salmon run. There is so much untapped potential in this area and this new park is one that the whole community and those visiting us will enjoy for years to come. Thank you very much again and enjoy this wonderful moment. I'd like to wrap a moron tunnel and to have a few words. I'm going to adjust the microphone before you speak. Julia, how is that? A little up closer? How's that? Okay, well, my name's Ron Tuttle. I'm the chair of the Centennial Committee for the Rotary Club of Port Hope. Rotary is a humanitarian service organization that brings together business and professional leaders in order to provide community service, promote integrity, and advance goodwill, peace, and understanding in the world. There are 1.4 million Rotarians in countries all around the world. Rotary Club of Port Hope has 32 members. We meet bi-weekly at the Knights of Columbus Hall on Mondays at 6 p.m. And as you know, we are celebrating 100 years of service in 2022. The Rotary Club set up a centennial committee in the fall of 2019 to plan for our centennial. As well as holding a gala dinner last June, our club wanted to choose a signature project in the town to commemorate our 100 years of community service in Port Hope. We were looking for a project that would be highly visible in the town and that would make a lasting positive impact on our community. After much consideration and consultation with the parks, recreation and culture staff, we decided to develop and improve this small park and trail here on the west side of the Ganarasco River. We had a landscape design prepared for the park by Brian Basterfield a landscape architect in Peterborough. After consultations with the Ganaraska Region Conservation Authority, the Water and River Walkway Working Group, and Parks and Recreation and Culture staff, 
The plan for the park was presented to town council for approval in December of 2021. Council approved the plan and they also approved our request to name the park Rotary Centennial Riverview Park. I would like to thank former mayor Bob Sanderson and the town councilors for their support for our Centennial project. And I know that our new council will also be very supportive of the Rotary Club. <clears throat> this shade structure and the walkway were installed in October as a focal point and a welcoming entrance to the park. Next spring and summer, we plan to add walking paths and gardens in the grass area, as well as plantings of shrubs and trees. There will also be benches and picnic tables as well. You can't quite see it from here, but there is about a 400 meter trail um, that loops off the grass area. And along the side, close to the river, um, the town staff are gonna clear a couple of walkout areas where we'll put some benches. So people will be able to go out and sit by the river um, as they walk along that path. <clears throat> the Rotary Club set, has $70,000 set aside for our Centennial Park project. And we're hoping to raise, we're planning to raise 50,000 more for a total of 120,000 for this project. Um, our, community fundraising campaign started in the summer and we're reaching out to Rotarians, former Rotarians, individuals and businesses in Port Hope and community area. We've raised approximately $18,000 so far. This shade structure, uh, which cost just over $61,000, was paid for from our reserves, our Centennial Reserves. The town, we have several levels of sponsorship for the, the park a park builder for a donation of $250, a park trailblazer for a donation of $500, and a park champion for a donation of $1,000. The sponsors will be recognized on a sign in the park. Also, individuals and organizations can commemorate a special person, event, or achievement by purchasing a tree or a bench for the park. And a memorial plaque will recognize the donor for each of these trees and benches. Donations are, are being accepted by the town because they will be issuing tax receipts for any donation over $25. We've also developed a promotional brochure and you see two of the pages here on the large signs. Uh, Bob Wallace has extras if anybody wants one, that would be great. If you wanna take one and read up a little bit more on it. I would like to thank all the members of the Centennial Committee for their hard work on the Rotary Centennial Riverview Park project. I'd also like to thank uh, Julia Snook, um, Floyd Metcalf, Leslie Murray, and Amanda Miller for, from Parks, Recreation, and Culture. They've been a, a great assistance as we work through this, this project. We look forward to seeing this park pro project move forward to completion over the next year so that people can enjoy this park and trail near the river and the fish ladder. Thank you very much for coming out this morning to uh, help us celebrate this event. Thank you, Yossi. Well, it's my privilege and honor to thank everybody and to single uh, out Ron Tuttle and his committee for an exceptional, exceptional job. Uh, he's worked hard. It's been two years of effort and two years of liaison work. Uh, I'm proud to be president of this club. I'm privileged to welcome you all here, and I hope you all uh, during the walking season will enjoy the park. It's an exceptional, exceptional development. Uh, you're just looking at, at the really early stages. And this walkway that Ron talked about, this 400 meters, is going to be a show place. Uh, we're planning, uh, Ron and his wife are planning on a pollinator garden up by, the, uh, by Jocelyn. So uh, I think it's going to be a great place for Rotarians and their families to walk and a great place for, for school kids to come on nature walks. And I hope we can arrange all of that. Again, Ron, thank you. District Governor Yosef, thank you. Uh, thank you all. And Ron, uh, <laughs> Jan Boyko, Boycott, rather, uh, the past president, was really shepherding a lot of this along through this uh, session <laughs> and development. So thank you all for coming. Enjoy the, the uh, day. Thank you.
Someone could move in right in the middle. Be Lisa. Right over, John. Lisa. It'll cost you if you don't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>